They're running a double AD comp, which is really interesting. All right, well, sure. it's going to be a very interesting matchup, as you say. Cloud9 versus Pain Gaming. We should Cloud take Infinite the court. dress so well into a Morgana bind immediately afterwards. And it's so powerful. We've seen teams like SK Telecom do it. Wow. Oh, the hook on Leiko. Leiko in trouble here. He should be able to get away. Flash is out of it. They're not going to follow through. Well done, but bottom. Leiko, long way off it. A lot of pressure on the tower. They should just clear this wave out. This is finally Leiko's time to get some farm, but you can see the damage that Sneak is immediately pointing on. That's a good dart binding. The tower hits as well. Mistake there. They do manage to land the Death Sensor's hook straight in there. Can they catch on towards him? The Ignite is running, but they didn't quite have enough to take down Leiko. I'm really kind of disappointed that Balls didn't actually like TP right for Cloud9. Oh, the dark binding not quite landing. Little late reactions on the uh, Valkyrie there, but that is going to be the dragon picked up. <laughs> Look, Lacti close to catching it out, doesn't manage to get it with that bookshop, and instead there's four members of Pain Gaming. There's the ultimate being propped from Leiko very early on. Can he land that cleaver? He does. Sneak is going to get caught out. The slow goes down, but there's just not enough damage following through. Leiko wants to go for it, but nobody else is on the same page. All he right backs there. away. Cloud9 just really snuck that out at high, getting kind of. That arbitrarily well, ulted in the mid lane. That didn't do the damage. Shockwave. Oh, he flashed, tried to follow through, wasn't quite close enough. Good reactions from high there. You know where the enemy jungler's at, and then you just bully him out. And Warwick can't really deal with this. Well, so he's going to be the one they lock up, and he's in all sorts of trouble. There's the first blood. Meteos is the one that picks it up, but that was a clean kill. And if you're asking before why I thought Warwick is overrated, it's because of this specific reason. If you have a very aggressive support and a very aggressive jungler, and you start going into the enemy jungle and controlling it, vision controlling it, if you get caught out, you have no way of escaping. You have no moves. You can't run fast. Your E doesn't work unless they're low health. Wow. Oh, Lacti's like in calling. trouble. Culling lands indeed. He's going to use that heal. He's going to try and stick around. He's putting good damage down. Elimination, not quite enough. Sneaky finishes him off there as Meteor sacks it out. Elimination's going to go down. Oh, he gets something back there. Something out of nothing, honestly. That was good work from Lacto Lacti in the end there. To Sneaky, see if he can get the damage down. Sneaky tries to dash away. There's one shot. Is it enough? No, the ultimate misses. And now Sneaky in trouble. Infinite Jurassic. So he will pick up the kill, but the rest of the team would be decimated at the back there. Balls comes around and picks up a double. And now Sir T on the tower. I don't think you're going to die that way, buddy. It's going to be a simple pickup. Oh, unfortunately, it was Lemonation that got the final kill. But a three for one almost certainly will lead to an easy dragon for Cloud9. Yeah, you could at least got some tower damage there while he's running around. I mean, come on, that's like three on us. Like, I'm like pretty disappointed with this play. Uh, Lemonation with the unnecessary hook, too. <laughs> Make sure that that tower damage got the kill to go oh. to him. Oh, boy. Oh, that shockwave so close to paying off. One more shot. There it is. High gets the kill. Lemonation making the way towards this blue buff. You can see Sir T off the side. Cammy's just waiting in the wings as well. Balls taking a lot of damage from Liko this time around. Being baited in, though. Drawn in. Liko hooked in. He's going down. And that's another clear pick up by Cloud9 and then they're gonna move in on the blue buff Pain are desperately trying to take it as quick as possible they may end up smiting this one away just to secure it they do but no Meteos comes in and takes it as well everything is being taken away from Pain right now this is such good forward play with an advantage from Cloud9 they are just choking the life out of Pain right now in this game uh, there's really nothing that Pain is going to be able to do their only real form oh Oh, Lacti hooked. Is it going to be enough? Lemonation goes down. Kami's the one that picks the kill up there. And that may be a small saving grave. So T, with infinite duress available, going to try and lock onto someone, anyone. Can he get close enough? That's the question. He's on the hunt. He's got the scent. It's going to be high that he locks up on. A quick kick away from Meteos. High will go down to Lacti. Dark binding doesn't land. Sneaky dashes out of the way of that one. But what can Payne do about this? They managed to pick up two kills on Cloud9, but there's no objectives to be taken. That was a little bit too far forward from Cloud9. I mean, there's not really that many outer turrets left. There's just these two over here. Uh, so I think they're just going to be controlling their enemy blue side jungle, like taking all that farm, making sure that the Orianna doesn't get the blue, and then eventually just poking them out and whittling them down and taking these turrets. Yeah, what's interesting about the gold efficiency on the movement speed is that as a stat, Ooh. it only has Oh, gold. they're going for it. It's going to be Lemonation. They're focused on They do get him down, but Sati taking so much damage from the back of that. We do see High now going aggressive. They know they've turned and used it. Shockwave pulls in Sneaky. Not enough damage, though. Kami gets kicked nicely by Meteos, and they just destroy him where he stands. Lacti, though, gets a response. Sati's the one that picks up the kill on Balls. So they did manage to take him down. Ends up being a two-for-one, I think it was, in Paint's favor.
Yeah, I think Elimination just, uh, he's getting a little too greedy, so they keep taking these unfavorable <laughs> trades. Actually, I don't really agree with this build that uh, Corky's going, or High's going. He goes to the Blade of the Rune King second. When you have, like, this uh, kind of poke damage that you went out of, out of your mid lane, Corky, and BT just a lot better against that. Oh, Ole's going straight in, face check, trying to get the ward down, quickly picked off. Cloud9 now have complete vision control over that Baron buff area. They may go for it, they may just push on. I'm not too sure where the pain would be able to react if they do push for it instead. It looks like the top lane and the mid lane is going to be pushed. And Cloud9 just trying to see if they can pick something else off here. That mid lane turret is going to be the focus and pain game, and they're going to be forced to back away. They're sneaky. We're using the cullin, putting the damage down, and of course, with the double AD comp, you can put so much burst onto those towers. It's easier to run out of mana these days. Yeah, I oh. think on the old patch, she, she would have been good to go. Oh, the shockwave pulls in. Lemonation does manage to catch on towards him. Ball's now exhausted. There's the infinite duress. They do pop him down quick enough, but quickly reacted there. Meteos comes in. Sneaky picks up the kill. Leiko trying to catch on towards him. Good kick away. Ole now in trouble. Does manage to get the ultimate down just off the side there. We see Lacti coming in. Can they get the damage down? Lacti could clean up here. Leiko on him. Tries to put the damage back on. And one more shot should do it. Sneaky taking so low. Sneaky with the quadra. Will he get the penta? Oh, he does. But it's quickly countered. Meteos gets in there, gets the triple, <laughs> and wow, a four for five in favor of A little bit more cautious about this dragon this time around. They are feeling a little bit of pressure from Pain Gaming. Yeah, this dragon's really big because it puts basically a six minute timer window on when the game's gonna be ending. Oh, they get the Hawk on Sati, quick infinite dress, but there we go, look how quick he goes down, full damage build. Good. Shockwave lands on towards him. Lemonation going to be the target. Have they got the damage to follow it off? No. The shield from Medios keeps him alive. And now Cloud9 just forced them away. High going aggressive on towards Kami. Kami running away from this one. Should a Bay Air avoid it? No. Medios flashes through. Doesn't choose to follow through. There's three members of Pain there. Wise choice to, to back in. away. I think the best way to use Lissandra in this scenario is just to E forward and ult yourself just to zone off the rest of the team while your double carries force on. But Lemonation a little bit caught out. It's going to get taken down. Lacti like gets putting some sizable damage down on towards him. Still only got that Sunfire cape. Our Spirit Visage, that's going to be balls locked up and taken down by Sati. Can they follow through now? Have they got the damage to lock up there? You can see Sneaky just at the side, putting the damage down on Ollie with the Cullin. Does a hell of a lot, burning him down at the side, and they have got themselves a small Pretty advantage. Entirely, especially because there's such little magic resist. Oh, oh, oh Ollie got out there. He's going down. No doubt about that one. Cloud9 may actually start themselves off on the Baron now. We can see Suti thinking about backing off. There's the Baron start. Not a lot of vision in there for Pain Gaming. They're going to be well aware of this. That's a very, very quick Baron, honestly, with a combo team. Oh, Pain, they did go for it. That's going to get them locked up. They're going to go down. They go doing what he can to get away from this one. I'm not even sure even the hit point regeneration of Mundo is going to be enough. Meteos comes flying through, and Balls picks himself up the kill. And now, with the Baron buff, Cloud9 should surely storm through the base. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Balls ulting himself instead of somebody else, making sure that he doesn't go down too quickly. Yeah, he just needs to be the, a front line, like a buffer for his team, so that the AD carries can sit back and do damage. Because Corky and Lucian right now are doing absolutely insane damage. They will kill anybody on their front line. Mundo doesn't even have that much army. He's like ninja tapping oh, Sapphire. Well. Ball's actually taking very low. Zonyas <laughs> will keep him alive. There goes the inhibitor turret. Hook goes out, not going to land. And Kami, not a lot to respond to. There's the inhib. And Cloud9 will back away. So, first inhib of the game down. Within 33 minutes, honestly, if you just saw the start of this game, you could have... Honestly called it within 20 minutes, but they've taken a while to close this one out, Cloud9, as we saw before, and Sati going in very deep on this one. They're just going to get destroyed round left. One, two, three, and four. And wow, that was... That was something from Pain Gaming right there. Well, what do you do at this point? Because here, that little timer in the top left of your screen is ticking down to the fifth dragon buff, and they have Baron. And if they have Baron and the double dragon buff from the fifth level, there is no way you will hold. Yeah. It's a 16% damage bonus. Uh, <laughs> everything else that comes with it. Everything doubled, of course, with that fifth stack. There's the Nexus Tourist going down, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like Cloud9 will take game one in the series here at the Intel Extreme Masters in San Jose. It is a best of three. It's not over yet. But Cloud9 starting out well in this first matchup. Yeah, I think the takeaway...